Hey everyone, today we are going to discuss the laptop you should buy if you want to do GIS work. Let's get into it. And that brings us to the first laptop I kind of want to talk about today, and that's a Lenovo Legion. Like a lot of laptops that are going to be on this list, it's a gaming laptop. Uh, gaming laptops do really well when it comes to GIS. This is because they usually have pretty good CPUs, dedicated GPUs, and good cooling. The one that I kind of want to talk about is the Legion Pro 5i Gen 8 16 inch Intel. The thing about the Intel CPUs is they often have more cores, especially at a higher end, than similar AMD CPUs. Right now, you can pick up the 8th Gen Legion Pro 5i for $1,700. That comes with a 13th Gen Intel Core i7 13700HX. This is a really good CPU at a really good price. Comes with the RTX 4060 GPU, unfortunately only 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage, but both of these are upgradable. And the whole device is really well built with a good screen and keyboard. If you want something with more power, you can take a look at the Legion Pro 7i. That can come with the Core i9 3900HX and a RTX 4080, 32 gigabytes of RAM and a terabyte of storage for 3000 Canadian. If you want something more portable, you can take a look at the Legion Slim series. They're a well-cooled portable laptop that doesn't skimp on power. I would also like to point out that there's currently a Legion Pro 5 AMD version with a 4070 and 32 gigabytes of RAM for under 2000 Canadian. Now, the reason why the Lenovo Legion is top of my list is because they've been very good for the past several years. You can buy new ones or you can pick up older ones that are on sale. You can get the Slims, you can get the standard Legions. They're all gonna be very good. They're gonna have pretty good screen, pretty good trackpad, pretty good keyboard, good ports. They're just an overall good laptop. They are a little bit heavier. The 5i can weigh five and a half pounds while the 7i is closer to six, 6.2 pounds. And then with the big 330, 330 watt charging bricks, you know, it starts to get pretty heavy. Now moving on to something that's a little bit lighter, we need to talk about the Asus Zephyrus G14. The cool thing about the Asus Zephyrus G14 is that they implemented a really good cooling system back in 2020 and have been improving it ever since. Because of this, they can pump more and more wattage into their GPUs and CPUs, allowing them to perform better. This gives them a huge advantage over other thin and light laptops. Now this model is $2,200, it was on sale for $2,000 a few days ago, and it comes with the AMD Ryzen 9 7940HS. While the AMD Ryzen series typically doesn't have as many cores, this is still a really good CPU. It comes with the RTX 4060, which once again is a very capable GPU for GIS. It comes with a 512 gigabyte SSD, 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is going to come with a 2560 by 1600 screen, which is great. It's going to be 500 nits, so it's going to be nice and bright. Great keyboard, trackpad, another good all round laptop. But this one only weighs 3.64 pounds. Similar to the Lenovo Legion, the Zephyrus has been good for quite a few years. That means you can pick up a slightly older version at a cheaper rate if you can find them. The other thing about the Zephyrus is it also comes in other sizes. There's the G15, also great. There's the G16, and then you can also get the more premium Zephyrus M16. It's currently on sale for 2500 Canadian, and this comes with the Intel Core i9-13900H processor, an RTX 4070 GPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and a terabyte of storage. Or if you live in the United States, States, you can pick up a similar version with 16 gigabytes of RAM for $1,600 on sale. And that brings me to my next laptop, the Dell XPS series. Let's talk about the XPS 15. The XPS 15 is a great all around laptop. It's thin, it's light, it's pretty. My previous laptop was an XPS 15 and I absolutely love the soft touch feel of it. The screen's beautiful, the infinity edge display, the trackpad, the keyboard's great. It has great speakers for a Windows laptop, but it is expensive. It doesn't have as good of cooling and it has underpowered GPUs. Now for a 15 inch with an i7 13700H, which is, you know, a great CPU, not top tier, but very good. A 4060, which is, you know, good enough for GIS, 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, pretty good to display 1920 by 1200 you're looking at $3,200 on sale for $2,800 right now. And if we look, video card max wattage for all selections is 40 watts. Now 4060 and the other laptops that we're looking at is typically more around 100 watts. That means you're going to be leaving a lot of performance on the table. The XPS series of laptops are great, but if you are a GIS power user, you would probably be suited to one of the other laptops, which are still great, but just have much more power. But if you're a business professional or a student with too much money who doesn't need to be a power user, this could be great. 
Now, if we bump that uh, XPS up to a 17-inch laptop, you'll notice that the video card is now 60 watts. Now, you could get one with an i7 and a 4060 for over 3,000 Canadian or about 2,700 American or for about $4,700 Canadian or currently on sale for 3,150 American. You can get the Core i9 3900H, an RTX 4070, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a terabyte of storage, and a nice 4K display. If you're looking for a laptop and more of a budget, Acer's Nitro 5 laptop is a great value for the money. One has an older i7-11800H processor, but it's still a great CPU. Comes with a RTX 3050 Ti, 512 gigabyte SSD, and 16 gigabytes of RAM, but it's DDR4 instead of DDR5. Or you can get one with the Ryzen 7 6800H. This is slightly newer, but slightly less powerful than the i7-11800H. It comes with a 3060 instead of a 3050 Ti, which gives you an extra 2 gigabytes of VRAM. It comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and 1 terabyte SSD. I hope this has been helpful. If you liked it, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.